Hi, it's Megan. So, sometimes I have a really easy time deciding what I think of a product, and sometimes I have a really hard time. So, I have a product today which I had a really hard time doing this video. I've been wearing this product for about a week now, and I, I can't make up my mind. So, the Marc Jacob Beauty uh, New Nude Sheer Lip Gel. So, these are $30, so six colors. They're .12 ounce, which is a good size lipstick. Most lipsticks are .11 ounce. Max are 0.10, some are one, like YSLs are 0.14, but they're usually in the 0 0.11, 0 0.12, so this is about the average. And according to Marc Jacob, this is the new formula, a curated collection of new, nourishing neutral lipsticks for the perfect nude shade. They say it's a covetable lip collection that breaks the mold of traditional nude lipsticks. Its innovative gel formula glides effortlessly across lips, laying down subtle shades and a sleek shine finish with a delicate vanilla scent. Velvet-like... Monoi butter, derived from the tropical tiara flower, delivers supreme moisture while nourishing myrrh extract and antioxidant vitamin E minimize the appearance of aging, including vertical fine lines. And I only got one. I got Role Play, which is a, they call a dusty rose. They're $30. I always liked, liked the Marc Jacob lip gels. I thought the colors very often were beautiful, and it looked really pr pretty when you applied the colors. But they really bled a lot on me, especially the darker colors bled more. The lighter it was, the less it bled. So regardless of how much I liked a color, I probably liked it less if it was darker, not because of the color, but just because of the formula. And um, I like how lightweight they feel on the lips. This one does have a slight, almost not there, vanilla scent to it. And it comes like this in this new color container which has that really amazing click from the magnet. So this is the color and is it a dusty rose? Some people have said they see peach in it. I, can, I think it's a dusty rose but I can see the peach in it too. It's on my lips. Um, these do not bleed on me. Again this is a lighter color so I can't speak for the whole line but that's why I only tried one of them because I had so much problems with bleeding in the past ones. I just didn't want to commit to too many $30 lipsticks, but I wanted to try the new formula. So these do not bleed at all. And they wear, this one wears almost two hours on me. Like I said, I think it is a dusty rose, but it does have a little warmth to it, like a little peachiness, just a touch. Um, and it also is always going to depend a little bit on your lip color, obviously. And I've got pretty pigmented lips. I don't really see how these are sheer. Um, at all. And I actually have a vein, you can see the veins. I was actually applying it over my vein saying, well, can I see the vein under it? Just a tight, tiny, tiny bit. Um, so I'm not convinced that they're quite as sheer as I thought they were going to be. But, and you can see, as I apply it to my upper lip, this is upper lip right here very often fades with lighter lip colors, if they're, especially if they're sheer. And this seems to provide really good coverage there. So, um, I'm not going with the sheer, but I do really like the formula. I like how it feels. It almost feels to be like the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick, but a little bit lighter. It feels a little bit stiffer than the regular, original Marc Jacobs lip gel. I apologize. There's like helicopters here all day. I don't know why, but if you hear helicopters, it's been all day. I just decided to ignore it and do the video. Anyway, I really like this. I just, the thing that has me really torn is... I don't love it. I mean, it's a nice, functional, great lipstick as a basic. And I guess I start asking the question, I even asked the question on a beauty board, you know, can you get excited over a nude lipstick? And this is one that will go in my purse. It looks good. It doesn't look amazing on me. And part of that is color choice. It wears fine, you know, about two hours. It's consistent. It's just not exciting. So, yes, I guess I do like this. A lot. It's a high quality product and I do think it's a big improvement on the old Marc Jacobs lip gel. I don't think though, unlike let's say the NARS Audacious line with the nudes, I just don't think that on me it looks amazing. It just looks fine. So anyway, that's all I have to say about this. I would love to hear from people who have other colors, who have this and have thoughts. I guess having seen swatches of this compared to the old role play, this is a lighter shade, but I don't have the old role play, so I can't say for sure. That's just what I've seen online. And please subscribe on YouTube. Thank you very, very much.